Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3518 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 12 moves only to collect 50 frosting and 75 waffles. That makes this a super hard level. We can tell by the skull with the horns and the blue background, but also because I've played it through a couple of times. I want to explain to you what I see are the major problems and where we're going to need luck and where we're going to need strategy. So first of all, you can see that on this board, we have a very restricted area where we can even make any moves and currently we only have one opportunity so this is the only choice we have this or quit the game that's it thankfully we got a bit of cascading if we are going to win this level it's going to be because we get some good fortune in cascading especially once we get these frosting cleared out notice we've got a series of portals where these waffles come streaming through we've got to get this frosting gone so we can stream things through. So the more I can hit this, the better off I'll be. But again, we have very few options. I can move these orange here or move this over here, which would take out a couple of waffle and a couple of frosting. But I want this to stream forth. So in my opinion, the better move is this. Again, now I'm running very low on moves I can make. This is it only. So you can see that this is the portion where we're going to need quite a bit of luck in order to get this to work. If we can't get a purchase on this board, if we can't open this up, then there's probably no way we're going to be able to win. And that's just going to require several attempts. Sometimes we don't have any moves and then we get a reshuffle. That happens as well. I could make this stripe here and that's not a bad move. I'm thinking about doing this instead because it hits so much frosting instead. Remember, my goal is to get this open. So that's what I'm going to do is hit the frosting, hit the frosting, hope for cascading here. Uh, and sometimes if we can make a nice long stream, we can even get some color bombs and that can really help. Case proven there. And then what I'm going to do is try to get a color bomb wrapped candy combo. Now, I never was even successful in getting this done, and therefore things just did not stream out for me until the very last portion. I was able to get all of the frosting gone, but not all of the waffles. But you see that that is the system that we have to run through in order to get things done. So I'm going to play again, and this is one of those levels where we can either get really close or really far away even though we understand the strategy. It, it yo-yo is back and forth. So I won't be surprised at all if it doesn't go nearly as well for me this time. I normally make moves low to the ground. Here I try to make moves up high to capture that situation for me again. Trying to open that up. Yes, I've got some specials here. Now here's another piece of strategy. One thing that I try to do is make moves up as high as um, possible, but I also try to concentrate the colors down. Here we go, we got a bit of good luck. I've got more blue on the board than I do green at first glance. So I'm going to go for this. We've got this almost opened up. I've got more opportunities. I'm going to go for the color bomb. I could try to do another color bomb, but I'm going to go for this wrapped. All right, now it's not going to hold. It takes everything out, but we got things streaming. So this is actually kind of unusual for me that I should have two fairly good opportunities in a row. But look at this. I still have 48 waffles to get out of the way. Uh, if I had six moves or more at the very end, once I've got things streaming, I would feel much better about my chances here. One thing that I think the cascading does, besides helping us by clearing things out, is it sets a certain rhythm and it goes fast so we feel we want to go fast. And instead of really examining our best options, we just get rabbited through the board. We, we make moves as quickly as possible. I want to avoid that so I stop and I talk and I examine the board. I could do this with the blue or this with the blue or this with the green. I don't have a lot of orange on the board and moving the orange will take this waffle out completely giving me more space. So that's the choice I'm going to make. Anytime I can kind of cut through this and move things off to the side, I feel like it's a better option for me. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so you can see how tough this is. I didn't 
still uh, complete this, even though I had two opportunities where I was able to actually get waffles in here, and that doesn't always happen. Now, since I've already played this several times without success, uh, even before I started the recording, what I'm going to do is pause the recording, come back with a new board, but without audio, because on these boards where it requires quite a bit of luck just in the beginning stages, um, I'm not going to waste my, my voice on that. I've already given you what I think is my best strategy, and now we have to wait for the luck and then use the strategy so we can capitalize on that luck. So I'll pause the recording, come back without voice until there's something significant to say. Be right back. Okay, so this here we go. This is uh, how I beat this level. Oftentimes when I decide to go off mic, I think, is it even worth it? And oftentimes I'll end up beating it within 10 tries and think, well, I should have just stayed on mic. This one t took me an hour and 14 minutes to get done. And it was a pretty fast moving of a devil. So that was a lot of attempts in there. So just so you know, you just have to wait for the luck. You also have to play wisely. Eventually it will show up, but it's just gonna take a lot of lives to get there. Unless you get luck on your fifth try instead of your 500th try or however many tries it took me. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.